Okay, so, hi everyone, um, I came out with a new video in, in a reasonable time frame, awesome. So this video is going to be a part two of my, like, getting to know my OC sort of thing. If you want context to the first character that I talked about, his name's Tanner. I will leave that video linked in the description. I am going to be referring to that character in this video, but yeah, the character that I'm talking about today is named Danny. Um, his full name is Daniel Jane. Um, he doesn't have a middle name, fun fact, which I really like. I have a couple of characters that don't have a middle name, and I really like that about Danny as well. So at the start of the story, Danny is 18 years old. He's a senior in high school, about to graduate. He was born in California. His entire family is from California, um, and then like formerly throughout the U.S. But uh, his race is Asian and he's specifically Indian. Uh, he's an only child and he just lives with his parents in like this really nice apartment. <laughs> um, they're kind of well off I guess, like they're not rich or anything but they've, they don't really like struggle financially um, which is great for them. Growing up, Danny um, was really into sports. He was a really energetic kid and always like needed stuff to do physically because like when he was younger he used to get into like tussles with the other kids. Um, he would kind of just like beat them up not because like he had anger issues or anything but like he was just kind of wild like that. Um, so his parents just like put him into sports to help channel that energy positively when he was really young he did baseball he did a couple other things but baseball was like his favorite thing and he was in it for the longest he did baseball and then started to uh roller skate so like he could roller skate pretty fine like as a kid like he could he could like stand up straight and the the wheels would like roll he would like go to the skate park sometimes to practice and stuff and so when he was about eight he met my other OC Tanner at the skate park they just like would hang out at the skate park or they would like walk around outside but uh, yeah they really really liked each other they liked being friends and everything so they were friends for like a year and then they found out that they were gonna go to the same middle school together and it was at this point where danny started to realize that he was attracted to guys he wasn't very confident with that he just like didn't want to be judged or like hated or anything because danny is muslim so um he just felt kind of like confused I guess you know regarding like his um attraction how that would come into play like with his religion it was just like ultimately just confusing and really stressful when he was maybe in the eighth grade he came out to Tanner um and said I think I'm gay and not to segue too much into Tanner's lore or anything but Tanner was a little bit like confused as well because both Tanner and Danny are religious. Um, Tanner is Catholic and Danny's Muslim and so when Danny said this they were both like oh okay <laughs> not to worry because Tanner is actually um, a very kind person and he was basically just like fully accepting after a while he didn't really care like at all so that's great and that really um helped boost danny's confidence with that at least internally after a little while he is a little bit more open about it um with tanner's family specifically tanner's dad kind of like teases danny a little bit about it um but not really in a hateful way um, but more on that later. <laughs> I guess about halfway through high school, 
um danny started to quote unquote date again he's like closeted but he still wants a relationship so how he did this was just basically um getting with other guys that were also closeted don't ask me how that works i don't know but it it works but because um you know danny would be closeted and the other dudes would be closeted they wouldn't really actually have a relationship they would kind of just like do hookups and stuff and <clears throat> god damn it so that kind of was a little bit um like hurtful to danny like the fact that like he really wanted a relationship with somebody and to actually like experience that and he wasn't able to get that without coming out which he didn't want to do he just felt like bad all the time about it so while this is happening tanner is really supportive and um makes danny feel a little bit better their relationship is very close they feel like brothers basically at this point um because they've known each other for so long danny is like really um protective of people not specifically just tanner but just like everybody um as i said when he was younger he would fight the other kids um he just has like really like hustling energy if you like play around with him he's he's like gonna square up and so he's like able to stick up for tanner um whenever tanner needs help because he's a total wimp danny is just like overall really close with tanner's family danny really likes being at tanner's house he likes interacting with tanner's dad even though tanner's dad is kind of like an asshole um it's not in an asshole way like it's in a dad way whenever he interacts with danny but then like it were it's like the opposite way for tanner and danny's dad so it's like they both prefer each other's dads <laughs> because they both kind of have daddy issues to be honest as danny is a senior in high school where his mom becomes pregnant and she's expecting a girl and the, th the thing about that is that uh his mom wants him to name the baby at surface level it's not really a big deal right but it kind of is for danny because it kind of like illustrates this pressure that he feels as a son and now as an older brother to be like the best that he can be and to be a good role model for his little sister now that is uh, soon to be in this world and this kind of adds to this stress that he has everybody like feels stressed right but like um i attribute that feeling to danny like out of all my ocs um i attribute him with this stressed character trait where he is someone who deals with stress very badly but performs well so this makes it seem like Danny is like very cool, calm, and collected, but on the inside is just losing it. It kind of makes it hard because it's hard for him to ask for help. He doesn't want people to worry about him. Um, and so he lies a lot. He actually has a kind of bad habit of lying and of keeping secrets just because like he doesn't want his stress to cause other people's stress and therefore he uh he he performs very well in stressful situations even though he wants to die um he has very good traits like his traits are over overall just like very very positive like he is very smart i mean he's he's like book smart but part of him is also like dumb like a little bit clueless about some things which is totally fine i like that about him but that's that's one thing that he's like um he's also very friendly he can make friends with pretty much everybody um he likes to talk to people he's very like sociable and people really like him because he is just such a like he's like a ray of sunshine like he's so nice i kind of just like feel bad for danny to be honest like he's probably the um the least uh 
recognized and the least like it's like I have a lot of male OCs and Danny's probably the one that people know the least about I feel like it's not coming across the kind of person that Danny is no matter how hard I try it's like Danny comes across as a lame-o and he's really not he dresses like um like a soft boy he hasn't disclosed to anybody that he's gay however he dresses like if he ever did come out you would be like oh yeah i already knew that you were gay have you seen the way that you dress with his hair he has bleached it silver prior to the silver i think it's always been in the white hair family but the undertones have changed like more pink or more blonde or more like purple um he has his ears pierced and uh let's see he's had braces i used to want his teeth to be like super perfectly straight but actually with this painting uh unintentionally did this really nice um teeth uh set up like he didn't wear his retainer the entire time <laughs> and i like that better oh also he's a uh, 5'7 by the way and he's actually like, he's really tough um not just like physically but he's not the person that likes to give up and he kind of overestimates his abilities to fight so he's kind of like um like a, a small dog in that he'll try to fight you but if you're much bigger than him you could just like flick him across the room and he's done for most of the time he can kick ass so it's pretty nice also oh he really okay this is actually important he really likes lo-fi hip-hop and dream pop bedroom pop uh and he used to listen to never shout never back in, in like elementary school or like middle school and he's also been in his school choir which is really cool in my opinion um my biased opinion because i was actually in choir throughout high school and it's actually really fun even though it's not impressive at all um danny really likes it um he's one of my musically inclined characters yeah he actually did write some of his own music before he stopped though but when he was doing it like he was mostly doing like lo-fi stuff he's one of the better singers um of my ocs he's always down to like do anything uh he likes to go to parties he likes to have sleepovers he loves b video games he can play baseball for crying out loud like he plays baseball he can also skate and not just like like basic roller skating like drop him in the half pipe like he um he's really good so senior year right that's where like the the story starts like with my ocs and like my oc universe like the story starts with tanner and danny in their senior year of high school so like maybe like a little bit into their senior year they have this new student who's named owen and basically this kid owen is like placed in uh tanner and danny's math class and he actually has to sit next to danny because that's the only seat that that um he can sit in it was this moment where he knew he fucked up i can't really talk too much more about that because that then we'll get into the lore of other ocs um so yeah that's that's in the next one though that's definitely in the next one <laughs> so yeah um that's that that's pretty much the basics of danny i'm gonna so like the, the next one the next uh, oc video is going to be about uh everyone's favorite lad well maybe not favorite but like he's kind of like uh my poster child so if you want to know about that guy um that's gonna be the next one uh if you like this painting actually um i worked really hard on it it's all acrylic by the way what was i gonna say yeah um i posted it on my instagram go like it because like i feel like it deserves more likes <laughs> i really like the video thanks for watching and um yeah okay right,